Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, we're going to talk about power building. Is it a silly, stupid concept? Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, over the last couple of years, I've seen a fair share of hate over the concept of power building. I want to clear up a few things. I want to present my definition, and I want to talk about what the concept of power building actually means in the massive iron world. Now, let's go back in time a little bit. Around 2007, 2008, I started using the term power building. Before that time, I'd seen a couple instances of people tossing the term around. And while I didn't officially uh, study the, the history of the term and the definition that people had been using previously, I started adopting the term to mean, in the massive iron world, wanting to build as much muscle and strength as humanly possible building power or the kind of that power lifting strength, building that muscle, that bodybuilding type of strength. So I've been using the term for over 15 years now, and it's kind of taken on a life of its own. It has multiple definitions. People view it in different ways. And I've seen a lot of people tossing around the idea that the whole concept of power building is just stupid or silly. And one of the derivative things that people tend to do is use the term power building to mean that someone wants to compete in both powerlifting and bodybuilding at the same time. And really nothing could be further from the truth. Powerlifting isn't about competing. It isn't about competing in powerlifting, competing in bodybuilding. There are only a handful of people out there that do that. And if that's what you want to do, if you want to take power building to that level, go for it. But the heart of power building isn't about competition. It's it's not inherently the goal of competing in powerlifting and competing in bodybuilding. It is about the passion for muscle and strength, about the passion for both. And therein lies the heart of the definition. Now, you can have muscle builders. You can have guys that are passionate about building a better body or bodybuilding that aren't passionate about strength. This doesn't mean they don't use progressive overload or strength as a vehicle to build muscle. They're just more passionate about muscle and less passionate about strength. And that is okay. Now, on the other hand, you can have someone that is super passionate about strength, but really doesn't care how they look. That doesn't mean they don't use muscle building or off-season base building as a tool to build more strength. It just means their passion is not with muscle building. So you can have different goals, obviously, and it's, it's kind of sad we have to explain that in the modern landscape, but you can have different goals. You can have the goal of building muscle and not be passionate about strength and still use strength or progressive overload as a vehicle to get there. You can be passionate about strength and not really be passionate about muscle building, but use muscle building, base building as a vehicle to build strength. Or you can use the massive iron definition of power builder and you're passionate about it all. You want muscle, you want strength, you want it all. In fact, if you want to take it even further, I take it a step further. I want to be able to run ultras. I want everything. I want muscle. I want strength. I want conditioning. I want it all. So in the massive iron world, power building is about building as much muscle and strength as you can. It's not about being a world-class power lifter. It's not about competing in power lifting. It's not about building, even maximizing your natural potential, but building as much muscle as you can while building as much strength as you can. Just looking good. It's about, at the end of the day, it's about looking good, looking big, and having the strength to back that up. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.